Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome. Uh, in this today's tutorial video, uh, we will discuss about the remaining tools of frames, uh, frames how to work with them in Onshape CAD software. As a basic, uh, before that, I already make uh, already explained you about how to work with the frames and how to uh, select the frames and profiles and also how to interface trim the uh, frames to make the uh, clear clear cuts to when working with the manufacturing shapes okay so we just learned only these two tools but we didn't learn about the other tools let's discuss about the other tools first of all let's start with the uh, gusset what is this gusset tool these gusset tools are actually works like a um, joints between the two frames it goes to make a joint between two frames like uh, for example uh, if you select a if you make a rectangular plane then you really, then you need to add some rib strike ribs just like a ribs how does it we add to the frames just like it need to be added between the frames i'm going to show, show you the tutorial how does it works and for it does not works with the uh, uh, cylindrical frames guys so that's why i'm going to make a show with the under frames last time selecting the top plane and just for randomly uh, drawing a rectangle with random dimensions and i'm going to sell i'm going to make a frame with it uh, I defaultly I using the rectangular shape so it will come to the rectangular shape and selecting the edges or else I already told you just select the face then automatically the frames will form and now what even it's showing some indications also and before in this before in before video I didn't explain to you about this dimension because we are working with the cylindrical frame so there no need to be work with them so for now i'm going to show this arrow this arrow is representing to move in uh, circular uh, rotation like uh, if you want to change the rotation of the frame you can change it like you can see first of all it should be in 90 degrees in 90 degrees it should be so like some normal rectangle or else you can change the shape while uh, while i'm rotating it is keep on adjusting itself by joining by, by default corner type is metal metal corner so like that is just keep on adjusting even for the any angle what we what are you going to change here right and if you come into the default corner type here also we can add uh, but tools or corporate but tools you can see the corporate but tool is different here when it comes to rectangular shape see the the butt joint also the corporate but joint also keep on adjusting as per the adjacent uh, frame see it keep on adjusting like a uh, where it should be matched with the uh, cusp adjacent frame so let's keep on zero degrees and see how it is coping it's like coping at the same as before you can also by selecting the corner overrides you can change the coping direction it's possible to make coping direction like that you can move, move make a move around it and and we don't want that so so for now let's set the metal joint and see how does it is working now click on ok and we got the two frames and let's sell the cassette this cassette is as i told it works as a rib so for that we need to say it's asking the inner edges so edges between two frames so i'm selecting this one and see we get a type we have triangle and rectangle this is a 
we in before we get a rectangle that's why it's showing this one so you can also move this position of the gusset out of the body and you can also reduce the dimension also this is the offset distance and you can also reduce the length of to 10 mm as per you want 10 mm length and 10 mm high and thickness should be you can also reduce the thickness also it's totally about uh, on your wish guys now you can see by the default values you can also add this uh, rip type touches for the frames and you are asking gusset position centered means it will form a, a exactly at the center of the edge if you want to align the means it should asking an alignment where should it work so i am going to set this alignment so it will start from this uh, corner of the frame like this you can also change the alignment or else you can also change other direction also so in, for, by trying this you can also increase the length of both sides and thickness you can do it in manually and if we have another gusset right rectangle when it's changing on the rectangle we got rectangle gusset and here we have another added extra option appeared that is called camper you can add campers how much you want like for 10 mm it is possible so the mostly when you work with the frames you might understand what is the use of this cutscene mostly because i also don't have any experience with the frames i only experience with the uh mild tubes where i was working as a member of the ambassador event while manufacturing my off-road vehicle okay so you can also give a camper or else you don't want starting app depends upon your wish guys so you can also offset it totally changes according to it okay that is the use of cassette now click ok let's for default keep and rectangle and click ok it should be as a separate part because this uh, frames also a separate part it not do not be merged because it is frames are of frames will form a combination of different number of frames okay so just like that and we have cap cap tool this cap tool is used to make the caps for the tubes or either for rectangle or triangle or any of the tubes it is going to be make the faces as for example mm. Uh, let's select this tube what you have available for the frame here okay and, and uh, it is uh, it is we have and it is asking faces to be selected and I'm going to sell this face and see we got added the tube you can uh, add the cap to the tube you can also uh, edit the length or thickness of the cap or you can also do offset is totally about see you can also add cubes like this way you can add inner cap like this as per you want this is the length of C you can increase the thickness of the cap as per you want you start to lap on your wish or else you can keep zero and thickness you can manually update it okay this is the use of caps and you can also have different types of rectangular cap this is also you can do and treatment type this should be of camper or it should be of fillet why does it not working here means it is uh, it is a circular face that's why it's not working able to work with the camper on filling i will show you the difference guys if we got circular it is already a circular so don't need to add the cap again okay you can also change the direction and internal 
this internal lens it is going to make a cap inside the tube see the tube uh, the cap was formed inside the tube. so when you're working with the frames the corner edges you should be closed because it is good we should not enter air into uh, we are going to lock it because it is good for as a manufacturer when you're working with the frames as if you work uh, the frames so that is a it's not mandatory but it is important to, to cover the cover the hollow shapes of the tubes when you completed the whole project okay so for let me show you let me draw a cap for the rectangular tube so for example mm -hmm. let me edit this frame and instead of rectangular bar sell the rectangular tube click on done and click on ok so it is a rectangle tube basically and uh, let's hide this one of the frame and see it is a tube it is basically a tube you can clearly understand this is a tube so now let's add the cap here click on the end cap and it should be matched with the profiles so the cap should be formed like this but uh, you can also increase thickness or you can also increase in the thickness too just like uh, you can able to how you are working with the faces like that you can work here also I hope you might understand how to work with the caps now let's have the rectangular one so as per the matching the profile it's also it's not a rectangle it's already a rectangular one and let's use circular you can't work with the circle because it is rectangle as I mentioned before in while you're working with the circle when we try to make a rectangular one it's not possible here so like this we are working here and we selected an internal so here it is not able to possibly make an internal what is the reason because it's because it is not parallel let's change the uh, type of end click on sell the part tube and click on ok now sell the capital again click the face and add internal now it's working there why not is not working means it should be it is angled and there may be a chances of over defined of the cap that's why it's not able to form there so now it's here working you can also insert offset see like this you can also increase the thickness offset the thickness I just gonna add the cap this is inset we selected as the inset let's work with the this one so actually you can't able to see that let's make it transparent and let's see the difference of thickness this inset is like a this offset is working the surroundings surrounding that means how much offset from the uh, surrounding edges of the part like that this offset is working and the inset is like a uh, also like a working from the starting of the face in the starting phase and this thickness is working as the length of the cap like this it is working we can also do circular here but it's not possible to add right so like uh, in this way you can perform the uh, add the caps to the frames as per you want in the frames tools okay
uh, you can this is the standard size that's why it's so big here I use the manual size just for explaining you okay and the other tool is called uh, tag profiles or cut list this it's like a table guys this like a home how many frames we are worked with and how many cut lists how many cuts we are done to the frames so you can also by default get select the all frames but it should see it fail to find start and end frame so you might we should maintain some consistency here we do not maintain any constant consistency because we are learning here but when you're working for for uh, for the good uh, or good one or a regular important project one that you might can use this and you can also create a cable by adding columns and see you can change the names and click on what frame you want you can add the name and give the how much value you have cut the list so like this you can also create table and you can also another one tag profile you can also create the tags for this for this you need to sketch you need to sketch a profile see we use the sketch this for this frame right or if you remember and additional elements you can also add sketch points give the standard name and description and add columns how much how many you want these are uh, these two are uh, works like it excel table for the frames what operations you have done to make to create the values that's all about the frame tools guys this is very useful for manufacturing when you need to when you want to make such kinds of designs like this frames so you don't need to sweep you don't need to draw the sketch profile and do the sweep operation and doing adding thickness and all just by using the frame tools you can get your design really easy so that's all about today's topic guys i hope you might understand the frame tools also in our chapter software we are almost about to complete the tutorial the other tools we have faces lines and we all have rock third and uh, on last but not least sheet metal i already know about sheet metal i will explain you detail about these tools also guys so for upcoming tutorials i'm going to teach you about the faces and this is also very useful for you for this performing the surface designs so for today's that's all about for today's studio uh, thanks for watching if you really like our content please do like share and subscribe our channel guys and it's mean to a lot for me thank you have a nice day